laughing at me, David. Why? I'll just go inside my shirt. That way, if you point at me, I'll just be a long bit of shirt. Scylla? Scylla, is that you? I hear you knew out there, Scylla. <laughs> I feel, uh, I feel mystery. I, uh, I almost won a Emmy or an Oscar or the greatest all-time achievement award. Uh, Scylla, I don't know if you can hear me, but I know that the Colonel is out there. Colonel Tom Parker. Colonel Tom Parker, is that you? Is that you, Colonel Tom Parker? No. It's not. It's a different colonel. I don't know. What, what, what army are you uh, trying to deal with here? You got the wrong colonel. Colonel, got a phone call. It's. Uh, I need to check and see if we're even happening here. You know, I, I just yeah, heard, heard you. you. I, I just, just heard, heard you. you. We're happening. We're happening. We're happening. Yeah. Well, colonel, Colonel, Colonel Tom Parker, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The, the colonel. colonel. No, you got the wrong colonel. I'm Colonel Sanders. Junior. What's that you say? Yeah, I was swindled out of the whole recipe, and a lot of people don't know I existed. But I followed my old man into the army, and I became a colonel. Colonel, colonel Sanders. Sanders. Yeah. yeah. Did How you did you have, have something to do with, with fried chicken? chicken? Six spices and one extra, and it's the greatest and the most secret recipe in the whole world. I'll, I'll tell, tell you, Colonel. colonel. Sometimes, Sometimes I'll I do, do some, some drugs and I eat a lot of fried, fried chicken. chicken. Mm. And I eat some banana with peanut, peanut butter, butter sandwiches. sandwiches. You ever have any of that, Colonel? Colonel? My favorite. Absolutely. I learned, I learned that, that from the U.S. US Army. Army. U.S. US Army, Army, yes, I did. I did. All right, well, since we don't have Colonel Tom Parker, I guess we can't renegotiate my deal, especially after getting the, the goat with all these... Uh, but yes, I am still alive. No, some of us aren't. aren't. And this, uh, this, this goes, goes out, out to those, those of us that aren't. aren't. And, and uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes. goes. Uh, kind of hard to do without my glasses. That was <laughs> <laughs> not good. What the hell happened? All right, all right. Let's. Uh, I don't know how to unmute myself. <laughs> You don't have to mute yourself, Colonel. <laughs> well, thank you, Elvis. We know you, you may know, know the words, words better than, than I even do, do at this point. point.
your host, Jeff Dodge. My beautiful wife, Jamila. like that we're back uh let me uh do one minor adjustment here i'm going to um it's good to be back do, do, do. we're going to check in with our uh our great friend and producer david craig is here stop that macro stop that i got that mac under control and we got a nice shot what is that shot that's the shot that we need to fix it's a nice action shot of the kick pedal and we have, as you can see, Commander Sunny Boy Curtis is uh, in the the house. How are you, Sunny Boy? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm I'm, I'm feeling live and uh, in lot person. Better. You know, last uh, visit I was here, I wasn't doing too well, but uh, back and better than ever. I'm so glad to be here in person. And yeah, I guess Rich is going to be coming in uh, next month for a visit so boy I, you know, I might have you muted keep coming well that'll be the first full reunion if we get Jeff, uh, if we get rich in here next uh month that will be great and you know maybe we'll do it out on the deck like the last time that was so nice i was weak sauce back then i i, I had to sit down i had to make sure you had uh i think you had uh uh emergency care standing by and i appreciate that but uh, like i said i'm back better than ever and uh just so glad to be here play some harmonica say hey to everybody yeah man tuned in. the commander is so good to see you and we have of course uh over my shoulder there we have mr uh, steven sabila on the bass live and in person we might be able to work out his own camera angle here sooner or later and then uh, over to the left of me, you will be seeing uh, Mr. David Craig, our wonderful uh, technical director. And how are you doing, sir, David? Oh, I've got you uh, muted hey. somehow. Oh, there you are. There you uh, are. Keep coming. That's I'm, beautiful. I'm gotcha. here. I've made it. I made it through the uh, the storm, the um, the gauntlet. All is that. Call no? it. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody uh, have any horror stories? Y'all survived? Dave. Well, we did we did have a little bit of a snowstorm here. Uh, let's see. And so you, this is our, our but I used the snowstorm to uh, try and improve the technology. And as you can see, it's vastly improved, but it might be strobing and locking up. But, uh, you know, I think it sounds great, hopefully. So uh, if we had enough uh bandwidth we would have a monitor to see what we're putting out there but unfortunately yeah. we don't so we're right at the level 
because we always sacrifice um, bandwidth for technology over content and organization. By all means, I find it very useful to just, you know, scrap, you know, scrap organization. I mean, I kind of like, well, look, I don't want to get too political, but David, you, you know about uh, Twitter and Elon Musk taking over, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm kind of thinking, I sort of like the way, did you see some of the video before he took over of what Twitter was like? I like that. I sort of, I don't know where the money was coming from, but I want to live like that. That was great. And they had like mochas on demand. They had sleeping rooms. <laughs> and you know, so that's, I don't care about money. Who cares about money, right? Life is short. I want to live like that. I want Trench Digger to live like that. So I will sacrifice bandwidth for technology. And, for mochas. And for bandwidth mochas. for mochas. For us to live better. And you have to put up with this strobey stuff. But at least the sound is a little bit improved, I'd like to think. So So there you go. That's, that's my two cents. Uh, yes, back to uh, news of the day. The snowstorm. Uh, what you were in in the southwest or were you in utah at this point did you get back from your tour hey here in the southwest you know um but i i'm telling you it just was rough for some people it was really brutal i was one of the lucky ones just to be real close to work wasn't an issue did you uh, have to walk your I, I'm not going to give away too much, but uh, David does a, a variety of, um, he has a doctorate at about seven different schools for what it's worth, and he does a lot of educational stuff, uh, teaches from time to time. Did you oh, have to walk any I thought students? I lost you there for a second. Oh, can you hear me? Do you got me there? I hear you now, yeah. Oh, like yeah. A, See, it's cutting it's like out, a, that technology. My, my question before we yeah. lose you, David... Are you, uh, did you have to walk any of your students through the tunnel? Was that necessary for what no. you do during the snowstorm? No, no. Because no when tunnel. I used to teach, I always thought it was a good lesson to walk the kids through a tunnel. You know, like sometimes in the late 90s, it was, you know, there wasn't as much homeless as I'd say now, but there was. I know. There's a lot of junkies and heroin, and I'd say there was more heroin then, and people shooting up, and like drugstore cowboy was really big, um, Gus Van right. Sant, that era, and so a lot of people moved here to do that, and I used to take my students through to look at this could be you. It's kind of like the uh, wow, wow. It's like I was thinking it's like a '90s evolution of uh, what was that uh, the cop thing, right? Where they take the oh yeah scared straight scared straight sure. scared straight right i you know was i was a real life scared straight this That's... is kind of like a scared crooked scared bent and it was like you know yeah. you might get attracted to heroin and become a junkie from this incident if that does happen i want need you to sign this waiver that was i always carried waivers in my back pocket so well I mean, so. you had the uh the walking field trip form uh, back in that day, it was you could write it in crayon. It was very, it's much simpler. It's much simpler. Those so, were simpler times. You just get a, you know, some of the kids didn't even know how to, uh, you know, sign that I was working with. So they would just uh, do a print, and I would uh, get them a stamp or something. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I get them a stamp, and I'd give. I got a stamp for them for myself. So I, you know, I, I, I started. Before emoticons, people don't know this, before emoticons there were stamps. And so we would use ink and stamps to communicate with those that uh, can't quite do it in the verbal way or psychological way. Um, anyway. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, good Lord in heaven. And oh, oh it is Jesus. time in mercy. Oh, we need to uh, we need to take a commercial break and pay some bills, David. Um, but uh, thank bills. you for joining us. If you can stay with us for a little bit, uh, we have a nice little shot that strobes out, but we'll we'll keep working on it. We're going to cut to another shot and maybe uh, take an ad break and 
Let's see if anyone else wants to join us on the old uh, Zoom link there. We'll see what happens. All right, man. Welcome. You're watching the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour, this special uh, Valentine's episode, I guess. Is that what we're doing? Post-Valentine's episode. And uh, for that matter, I'm just going to take a little station ID right. Well, you know, um, it's like trying to come up with material here, you know, that's that's what you got to do. Just sometimes you're thinking right off the top of your head. You have no idea. Uh, but, you know, you can always say Zaffer Brothers, Downtown Blend, Taste the City Coffee. Look, I'm always going to have something good to say about that coffee because it saved my life so many times. Saffer Brothers, Downtown Blend, Taste the City Coffee. I mean, I, I, I keep saying that because, I mean, I don't know how, how many times it pulled me out of foxholes. You know, it just, I was at the brink of just doom alone, you know, just, just, just dying. And, uh, you know, you smell that coffee, you take a sip, Saffer Brothers, Downtown Blend, Taste the City Coffee. You know, it could save your life. I mean, that's, that, that's, we're going that far to tell you what a great cup of coffee you're going to get when you buy this type of coffee it's always good and it's around and you got to try it look good and let jimmy gimbler show you the way He's got the finest silk, wool, satin, gabardine, and cotton blend suits available anywhere. It's off the rack and on your back. Look good for your high school reunion and your Uncle Dick's funeral. Stock up with our current sale. Buy two suits and get three free at Jimmy Gimler's Suit Rack. This is Luann, and, and I'm Rose Brandon's daughter, but I work over at the shop, uh, uh, Ear Massage. I uh, love giving a good ear massage. I think it's all uh, in the fingertip lotion that will make the, the ears feel really good, all the nerve endings, and um, just... It's just a relaxing atmosphere. We are open uh, 24 hours. Um, if you get those late night cravings to get your ears massaged, just just come on by. I uh, would love to have you. Uh, most of the people that just uh, they just can't stop telling us enough about how uh, good they feel. They just uh, they love it. They love it a lot because uh, it's really good for uh, beneficial for their health, um, for their brain health, their skin health. Because the ears. Nobody is focused on ear massage. Treat your ears good and you'll feel good.
Pizza is everything you love about pizza. It starts with our golden crust. Of course, you're gonna want cheese on that. Then, it's whatever toppings you want. Pepperoni, always a favorite. How about the green peppers? You want something blue? No one ever put anything blue on a pizza, but it's colorful. Try the roasted garlic. And don't forget the black olives. We make them the way you want them. Worston's Pizza, Italian by marriage. Gotta get through February, that's all. No. Get through February. That is always the uh, the deal, I think. Uh, well, there's. we're just going to let that screen be psychedelic. And, uh, I was guessing 15, so yeah, that's close. That right. I'm going to try and get this. Yeah, uh, all those things, yeah, is that a Tim? Okay, welcome back. You're watching the uh, Peasant Revolution Band Variety. I'm your host, Jeff Dodge. Uh, we are uh, experimenting with technology, uh, experimenting with our philosophies, ourselves, our, our uh, whole reality. Yes. And uh, we thank you for joining us. Uh, as you will see here, we have our uh, wonderful technical director and uh, co-writer and producer, uh, David Craig, is here on the uh, Zoom screen. How are you, David? I, I suppose we already went over that earlier and if you were watching, but I like to reacquaint people because a lot of times people tune into this stuff uh, very uh, last minute. Oh, and I should, uh, let me uh, take, I'm going to seize back control of this computer maybe. I need to do a little. Yeah, did, uh, David, did you ever watch uh, SCTV growing up much? <laughs> Oh, I, I'm not hearing you. I think you might be muted. Um, there you are. Yes, They were making fun of uh, George Carlin, so it was like, okay. Oh, um, you didn't like um, I, Rick Moranis' impression of, Dave, of, <laughs> of Carlin, George Carlin? <laughs> it was just, um, no, I think it just shone a light on, you know, how... Carlin had just taken a bit and beaten it to death, and he he was becoming a self parody, and because they parried him, right, right, they did that parody, and he was just kind of shocked. He had to like go in hiding and change his whole act. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I I do. Was that I didn't see that documentary. Is that what you're referring to? Did they yeah, talk about it was a that? Parter. So yeah. SCTV really brought him down with that because they like. You know, they, I mean, uh, David Thomas used to do a killer Bob Hope impression at that time, and Bob Hope was around and probably hated Dave Thomas, but you didn't hear about that. No, he probably, he probably didn't, but, um, it, you know, Carlin, yeah, but Carlin was like that, I guess. It, that's, that's how the movie ma makes you realize what he's like. Yes, the, the sensitive left. Well, you know, he had this kind of longevity, but it, it all 
uh, worked itself around him changing his act every every uh, he would just evolve and just go into a completely different direction. Well, I think that was one of his talents that I always noticed was his uh, ability to keep up with what was hip. You know, in any era, he always had consistent principles. And, you know, as I imagine Lenny Bruce and a lot of a lot of it's this where like comedy and political activism cross a line where um, look, I think even Bill Cosby had a, a, a point there in the 80s, in the 70s with um, uh, uh, Fat Albert. Right. He knew oh, yeah. he had sure. a lot of influence on America's youth. Not yeah, we have not to just black the youth, name but all youth. Now, all youth. So. But, but none of us knew what that Spanish fly reference meant until, uh, you know, recently. Just my and, old friend Fred. He, he figured it out. Oh, but, really? Uh, yeah. So it was out there. Some yeah. of the kids knew. Some of the kids knew that stuff. If, I suppose if you made a breakdown of the Fat Albert characters, because he played all of them, right? So there was, there's probably like a, a dichotomy there. Like you see a lot of Bill Cosby's personas through each of those characters. That's one way I always read it. Yeah, that's a good show, man. I miss it. I, I wish that... Yeah. And now in today's society, it's uh, you couldn't get away with it. You would be like accused no. of. What's the name of the documentary again? Uh, Fat Albert goes to Brooklyn, I think. Or the George so, Carlin. Oh, movie. no. Okay. <laughs> uh, George I was thinking Carlin, of something American else. Dream. Okay, you gotta see that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, well. And and uh, speaking of current events, uh, is there Probably anything? Probably definitely uh, one of Sid's heroes, you know. So I guess that's where it comes. George comes Carlin, from. one of six heroes. Sid, Sid, Sid uh, heroes. Sebastian. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking, yeah, Coffee speaking guy. of sponsors, I ran into yeah. Gimler. I was trying to bring in some old suits of my dad's, <laughs> and I saw him out there on Sword. And he was driving like just, I just gotta say, does that guy know how to drive? Gimler was, he was being a real ass. Um, I'm not trying to, I'm sorry, that's, and I know that's in conflict of interests here. I think it was his son. It could have been a monkey the way this car was moving yeah. around. Yeah, his son is just, he's you're, you're driving right. the business into the ground, see, I think. I didn't see inside, but I, I recognized the car anywhere. Because when I went in there, I took these suits. I mean, I couldn't, in the opinion, negotiate with the guy. He hadn't had his coffee or some Safford Brothers or something, so <laughs> I just got out of there. Man, sorry anyway, to hear that. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. No, I please anytime. I I feel uh, bad for Sid. He's uh, he's had a lot of hardship yeah. in his life, and he deserves he deserves um, the very best. Sid's our best sponsor. There's no doubt about it. Um, customer complaints, man. You know, you should always voice those. Especially on TV, if you can. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Well, yeah, it makes capitalism improve. Makes it makes That's the whole right. system better if you voice your complaints. It, you know, um, the, in fact, people that do retail and serve the public, they they are the best people to voice your concerns about how that company is running. Um, you know, they are hourly paid workers. They can't. Yeah, can't do a thing about it. They actually they are trained to love it. They love to hear um, what you have to say about how the business could be run better. Um, I don't. I worked for my dad a lot of years in a similar environment as a sound guy, and I I got to tell you guys, I loved it nothing more than when someone in the audience would come and tell me how uh, I could probably be doing it better, and it helped. It helped improve me and. And all that, so uh, and it didn't turn me into a sick psychopath or anything. But we are looking. I mean, was your at... treble up too far? What was going on? What? Oh, was it a well, treble issue? I'll never forget one. You want to hear a sound guy thing? You want to hear it for real, man? I'll tell you a good one. This is uh, this goes out to Casey Anderson if you're watching. Um, there was once a gig at a uh, at a city. I've been waiting. Eight years for a real, honest okay. to goodness sound guy story. This is a good, honestly like, good sound guy be... story. 
Oh, uh, this is good. I am excited. I wow. was mixing live sound at a folk festival in a city that shall not be named. It is not named Sisters. Brothers. It is near Bend, and it is not named Brothers, but it shall not be named. And they have a folk festival every now and then. We were mixing audio at it, Casey Anderson and I. He was my second at that point, which was kind of crazy, because uh, I was totally incapable of what I was doing. I was there to mix live folk in a tent with maybe about, it was an uh, uh, afternoon show, early afternoon, sun's out, everything's hot and sweltering in this tent in eastern Oregon. And... Uh, this amazing folk singer who will also not be named because I can't remember his name. He's great, though. I think he was Welsh. It's a Welsh guy. He made Casey cry. I'm going to say that. He did. He was that good. But he was doing... It, it's a guy with an acoustic guitar and a microphone. How complicated do you want to make it? He's doing folk songs, right? And half the crowd wanted to hear it muddy everyone on the outer rims because there's these big subs that were in the center of the stage they wanted to hear it muddy like a grateful dead concert and everyone in the inner ring wanted to hear it very crystal clean like uh, judy collins or something right and so you had for the first time i've ever seen an audience you had an audience member from each tell us they wanted this and that and went back and forth and management was freaking out and finally, the Welsh singer says, well, let's, let's have a, you know, who wants it this way? They did the clap test, and who wants it that way? And it was even. And I've never seen that before, where the audience is, like, divi evenly divided, and the sound has nothing to do with it. It's the audience and, and the subjectivity of how they like the sound. So I, I don't know. I, Maybe that you know, maybe that made it too academic or boring, but it was it was a fascinating psychological experiment, I thought. And if uh, Casey was around, I think he would second that. He took notes on that. Anyways, uh, you are watching the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. We are running it, man. low a, on content, but high story. on technology. So we're trying to make up, you know, with the uh, content with technology thing. We are still expecting one more guest, potentially. There's, uh, there's 18 minutes left on the countdown. He might be showing up. We might owe, did we start late? We might owe a couple minutes to the clock. We'll see what happens, but, uh, yeah, man, I, oh, I know, let's, uh, let's do an ad break, and we'll, when we come back, we'll try one of our favorite little bits, zooming for guests, we're gonna zoom for guests, so everybody out there might be sending a random message to people in my contacts list, and, uh, if you, if you pick up, we'll bring you on. Our technical director will admit you. So look out for Zooming for guests. Well, I'm trying. Uh, I got to tell you, that, that, that's, that's all I can do, you know. Uh, I, I'm just trying to do everything and anything that I possibly can. Saffer Brothers, Downtown Blend, Taste of City Coffee. Uh, you don't have to try there. You're, you're, you're going to love it. You know, try it. You like it, as they used to say back in the old um, advertising days. Um, Saffer Brothers is a great coffee. I love it. I drink it all the time. I'm drinking it all day. I'm drinking it far into the night, which um, it's okay, you know, because it is, it's great. It's Saffer Brothers, downtown Blen. Taste the City Coffee. It's always good. You're going to love it. If you're drinking it right now, I'm telling you and you would tell me that you love it because it's great coffee and it's always good. Pleasures of epidermis, 
skin so beautiful, your eyes will cloud with the tears of pure joy that you will be crying as you worship the women who display their epidermis just for you in my epidermis emporium. We're open all night to allow your eyes to feast on this bounty of flesh and skin and what we like to call epidermis. It's so beautiful. It's so well taken care of. It's so lovely that you will love it too. And you will spend a lot of time at Vladimir's Epidermis Emporium. Oh, oh, we're we're back, we're back, and uh, welcome. Uh, thank you. I've uh, now. It looks like our uh, technicians in the studio have uh, corrected the size a little bit, so we're getting a little bit of a live OBS operation here. Um, David, we were going to uh, do our favorite bit, uh, droning for guests. No, no, that's the wrong. I got the confused. Uh, zooming for guests. We're gonna zoom for guests. And, Bring them on. Uh, not drone. Oh, there you are. I hear you now. You, you got us. Can you hear us? I hear you fine. Yeah. You, uh, I noticed uh, you're growing a beard. Is that, uh, is that yeah, new? Yeah, I was thinking about shaving it off, but yeah, I grew it. I, um, you know, it's hanging out with it. It's whiter than it used to be. It's white. Yeah. I like it, man. It's To me, it's a very, um, has a calming Burl Ives feel to it, if you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Burl Ives. I don't know. Like silver and gold. It's, uh, yes. But, uh, silver yeah. and gold, man. That's a, that's a classic. Anyway, uh, and, and much more. Well, you, uh, speaking of you, before we get into Zooming for guests, uh, you did that wonderful short about Colonel Sanders uh, years ago that we did at a Darge Film Festival. Uh, what, yeah, you, tell me um, a little bit. What was that you about? You know, it has a scene in it. and uh, It's controversial. Uh, you kind of yeah, got it on with the chicken, that's, didn't you? It, I, that's what I was trying to avoid. But yeah, very super controversial. I mean, you didn't. The character Colonel Sanders did. You were essentially... Yeah. Um, yeah, that was. It was um, kind of like a National yeah, Enquirer fun. expose, blowing it wide open. The truth about why he. Yeah, there were. Um, there were no uh, full release forms, you know. So we just wandered into a KFC, dressed as Colonel Sanders. I I have no idea what that dude's past was, but. Um, he sure, uh, when I think of Confederacy, I, I think of that. Oh, uh, but yeah, yeah, Colonel Sanders, man. I, I was a Colonel Sanders impersonator. Yeah, uh, um, didn't you used to um, and, uh, couldn't bounce really make a at living doors? Were you it. like doing that shit, bouncing doors, and you got beat up? Didn't that happen? Or, oh, we might have lost you. Looks like we lost you, David, for a minute. Well, heck, I think we're... That's interesting. Let me get back to the Zoom and see what we can do here. We've, we've lost David. There he is. Oh, you're back. We got you now. We got We got you now, but we lost you for a minute. Can you hear us? Yeah, I was I was uh, to, I was totally lost. I was way out there, man. Okay, let's get to this zooming for guests thing and see what happens. Uh we got uh okay there we go this this will make it fun zoom in for guests uh maybe we could get a little uh background vibe for zooming for guests as we visit my contacts and see what we got I suppose we go to the doctor and get some of these covers back. We're going to more. Going 
She was too right. I'm going to say, she's cheap shit. I have a message. Let's see who it's from. Maybe we can invite them to Zooming for guests. She's called Leanne. Yes. Yeah, that was me. Please do that way. Oh, really? It looks yeah. like That's our. Uh, yeah. Well, Special cameo may be uh, really random. I think let's, uh, maybe I should, I'm, I'm thinking, why don't we, oh, let's try, this would be a good one. Hey. Let's see if we can get a little, uh, Update from Hawaii. An update from Hawaii, maybe, could be happening here. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, we could try a... Uh, da, 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 we could try my mom. Oh, there's a guy we got to try. Let's try this cat. Uh, Some very good love on my part. Nights. See if this cat bites, man. That's a good one. Zooming for yes. Zooming for yes. Wonderful. It's just, uh, just wonderful. Uh, do we have any admins, David? You're not seeing anyone bite yet. Back to meeting. I need to go to uh, more. Participants. Yes, no one is biting yet. Going to keep zooming for guests. Play the finale. Play the finale. There is no finale. This is your finale. It is, if only we had a way to see the internet. Well, it, it appears that our, our Zooming for Guests is once again a uh, resounding failure. We have not connected with any guests. But we put it out there. And we're open to put it out there again one of these days. I am so grateful that we've had Commander Sonny Boy Curtis Worsley in the house. Yeah, you're looking good. Uh, all right, now, what's the word on Commander's Air Force? I've heard there's there's potential. There's a new EP or something in the works. There's definitely a clamor. There's definitely a, a clamoring. Uh, for the reunion, and uh, I think it's going to happen. You know, it was it was pretty much just pending on, uh, you know, when I was ready. I'm ready. Yes, we just got to set up the time. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be hitting it by early spring. Get something together. Uh, yeah, but the Air Force. Yeah, it's a new. It's definitely a new plane. I guess it's the uh, Thompson 375, and it's going to have w it's going to have way more lift than the last one. It's going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to be a little bit more. A little slower, but it's going to be more comfortable, apparently. More aerodynamic. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be cruising. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, you got that harmonica handy, don't you? Yeah, what, what key you want to hear? What are we doing? Well, here? I think we're going to do a little thing that's uh, based in F sharp. Uh, if, I, if I can remember. But this, I, I love this. This is uh, one of them hippest songs I'm, I'm enjoying. Uh, by a local 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 band uh quasi local local group quasi our our uh, hometown heroes uh so we're gonna try and do something psychedelic for them i know that i think they're out on the road with this thing and uh this is our rough attempt i tried it on keys i'm terrible at it on keys but we'll just see what happens and and forgive us we've got a backup plan if it don't work but first of all I need 
to make a, a point of contention here. Uh, contention. Folks. This mayor, this mayor is uh, running this uh, town. He's got some problems. Say goodnight, Jeff. Oh, did we do it? Oh, no, I it. Uh, oh, oh, what was that, dear? Oh, say goodnight, Jeff. Good night, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.